Hello and welcome into the American Studios. I'm Morgan Uber. During Black History Month throughout February, in the Americans' effort to empower and educate, the conference, along with our partner Regions Bank, are highlighting distinguished leaders at our member schools who have made an impact far beyond their sport. Lieutenant Commander Wesley Brown became the first black graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy in 1949 paving the way for future generations of midshipmen. Navy had always been on his mind. As a young boy, Brown had a photo of the old USS Lexington on his bedroom wall. In high school, he worked as a junior clerk in the Navy Department. In 1945, while he was enrolled at Howard University, studying electrical engineering and a member of the Army Reserve, he was appointed to the US Naval Academy. Five other black midshipmen had come before Brown, however, none had graduated, with most of them being forced out due to extreme hostility. Brown was no different. Upperclassmen taunted him, gave him excessive demerits, hoping and wanting him to fail and resign. Years later, in an interview, Brown said he was often asked if he ever thought about quitting. He said, quote, every single day. Brown prevailed and forever changed history, graduating on June 3, 1949. He went on to serve 20 years as a member of the Navy Civil Engineer Corps. During his time at Navy, Brown was a member of the varsity track and cross country teams. Today at the Academy, the multi-purpose athletic facility, the home to Navy's indoor track is named in his honor. Brown passed away on May 22, 2012 at age 85, but still leaves an enduring legacy. For more of our Empower and Educate series, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at American underscore com.